Hi, it's Mike Panja, and today we're going to recognize the heat of the kitchen stove in the hottest part of the summer, and we're going to make a dish that's perfect for that. No cooking at all. What could be better than that? It's a Spanish dish, gazpacho. Gazpacho is basically a cold tomato. I don't want to call it a soup because it's not really a soup. It's more like a cold tomato pudding. Beautifully spiced, presented simply, a great meal for when it's really hot out. It's refreshing, it's healthful, it's vegan, vegetarian, of course. Something I think you'll like. I've picked out about three pounds of ripe red tomatoes. Now look for the ones that are deeply red and they talk to you. They tell you how ripe they are and that they've probably been ripened on the vine. Got two types here, the ones that are sold on the vine, plus some Romas, the Italian plum tomatoes. I mix them up and I think that gives us a possibility of the best flavor and texture. Best if you can pick your own vine ripened, homegrown tomatoes, which I like to do, but unfortunately mine aren't quite ready yet, so I had to use store-bought this time. Along with the tomatoes, you'll need a cubanelle pepper, an eight inch cucumber, a medium onion, a clove of garlic, a little bit of kosher salt, some extra virgin olive oil, and sherry vinegar. To get the skin off the tomatoes, I'm gonna parboil them for two minutes, then dip them in an ice bath to prevent them from cooking further. After two minutes, I'm going to place the tomatoes into the ice bath so that they don't continue to cook. We don't really want them to cook, we just want to shed the skins. Next, we'll peel the tomatoes and you use a pinching motion and the skin will come right off. I want to get the seeds out of these tomatoes and the way I'm going to do that is partially cut through the bottom of each one and then squeeze. I'll get most of the seeds out that way. Also get rid of some of the extra moisture in the tomato so we can make a more solid gazpacho in the end. Prepare the cucumber by peeling it and cutting it into chunks. The cubanelle pepper has to be chunked and the seeds and membranes removed from the inside. The onion should be cut into chunks and the garlic into thin slices. Now all the solids into the blender. I have a half of a large onion chunked up that's gonna go in I have an eight inch cucumber peeled and chunked that's going in. I have the pepper, which has been seeded and cored, that's going in. The garlic, one clove, sliced very thin. And the tomatoes that we peeled and seeded, and that's going in. It's a little bit full, but I think it'll work. lid on and start it up.
Okay, once I have it all fed down, I'm gonna just let the thing run. Now with the machine running, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sherry vinegar, and then drizzle in slowly a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Now you can pour it into a glass pitcher and refrigerate it for at least six hours. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it in the mixer so I don't have to dirty another dish. Serve your gazpacho in a chilled bowl and then dress it, if you like, with a dab of sour cream or even mayonnaise. Not you vegans, because you know that'll ruin the vegan concept of the dish, but it's just as delicious without it. Well, there you have it, our gazpacho. Now, I mentioned that it was vegan, and if you put that last little blop of sour cream or even mayonnaise in the center of the red field of your serving, you've ruined it for being vegan. It's still vegetarian, and it's still very good, but for you vegans, just skip that last step and you'll be fine. One more thing I wanted to mention about the music that you're not hearing with this video. I've had some copyright challenges in the past with the music I've accompanied my videos with. I've had a great reaction to them. My viewers really love them, but I don't want to get into legal issues with copyrights. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Instead, what I'll do is I'll suggest to you what you might play in the background while you're looking at one of these videos. Since this is a Spanish dish that was invented in Seville, Spain, I suggest you play Malagueña in the background while you're making it. I was going to say cooking it, but as you see, there's no cooking involved. Thank you for watching. Give me a like if you would. Make sure you've subscribed, and I look forward to seeing you next time.